Today, we are going to study a very interesting topic because it is about one of the physical features of the earth that we always find around us, and that is rocks. Rocks are seen all around us. We use rocks in building, we use rocks um, in construction of roads, and uh, we design rocks uh, to make monuments for ourselves and to commemorate others. We can also use some types of rocks as fuels and uh, even as medicine. So I want you to take your time and then go through with us as we journey through the study of rocks. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the major types of rocks, their formation and their characteristics. So take note, you should be able to describe one, the types, their formation and characteristics. So for the rock types that we have, you should be able to identify them, uh, look at how they are formed and then the characteristics. You should also be able to explain the processes of weathering of rocks the processes of weathering of rocks. Let us now look at some background information about rocks. When we say rocks, we are referring to naturally occurring uh, solid materials of the earth's crust consisting of one or more minerals. So take note, a rock must necessarily consist of one or more minerals found in the earth's crust. The original source of uh, mineral content for soils that we see around us is the rock because the rock contains minerals. And when they wither and are used in the formation of rocks, they release these minerals onto the rocks that they form. 